Most locals know about Fort Stewart and Hunter Army Airfield, but there's another military facility here that often goes under the radar, literally. Our Alexis King joins us live in the studio this morning to explain. Good morning, Alexis. And good morning to both of you. And that's right, the Air Dominant Center is one of only four joint training centers right here in the United States. And they just completed a new hangar for fifth generation warplanes, including the new F-22 and F-35 fighter jets. And that will bring America's best fighter pilots to Savannah. These are the aircraft that if we are asked to go to war against China or Russia are the aircraft and the pilots that will execute those missions. Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Thomas is on a mission to fully integrate all levels of training from ground-based readiness to counter air exercises and cruise missile defense. And I want Savannah really to be proud and the state of Georgia to be proud that we can provide a defense ecosystem and a joint force training opportunities to make sure that we're successful in future conflicts. But our airspace is a national treasure that's right here in the backyard of Savannah. It stretches all the way from Charleston, South Carolina down to Orlando, Florida. Uh, and there's no other airspace over the uh, continental United States that is as large as the airspace that we have here. And that's why the warfighter wants to come to uh, Savannah and train. This airspace is over 200 miles long, 60,000 feet high, 250 nautical miles wide, and includes three bombing ranges. It's a Townsend bombing range, as well as the Pine Castle bombing range, and then Avon Park, just south of Orlando. And it's not only the airspace, but within 150 nautical miles of Savannah are three naval bases. NAS Jax, NAS Mayport, and then you have Kings Bay. So it's the airspace, the sea space, the subsea space to give you that joint training environment, that integrated training environment that I keep talking about. There's a vault with over 7,000 square feet of classified space. You can imagine that those fifth gen fighters uh, have to be in that classified space to be able to mission plan, brief, and debrief the sorties and the maneuvers that they're going to execute out in our airspace. And there's a state of the art war room. So this is the command and control for our fighter exercises. So we're able to track the jets, display that real time, but really the importance of that is that we're able to record the missions. Colonel Thomas says his secondary goal is letting people know what a value the ADC brings to our area. Is let the Savannah population know what a national treasure they have in the backyard and why Savannah is becoming the home of the warfighter and why they want to come here to train for tomorrow's fight today. Not only that, in September, the facility will host the William Tell Weapons Competition. Now, this is the Super Bowl of fighter aviation, and WSAV will be there to bring you all the action.